For most freshmen here at Northwood, their biggest worries are homework, school, or grades. For Sasha Annan, though, there are bigger things to worry about. Was it last year? Yeah, it was like last January since I had the big surgery. Big one. So basically, they took the strongest bone in your body, the femur, and they took that, they cut it in half, and then they rotated that, and they put it back together. Although the surgery was successful in correcting Sasha's gait, her recovery has been a long and painful one. Yes, it is painful. It was very painful for her the first four months. Uh, she was, um, we had to lift her in and out of the shower, and thank God she has a big, strong, big brother. He would lift her in and out of the hot tub so she could get some pain relief. It's been a very painful experience, but um, I think it's been worth it. However, this wasn't Sasha's first big surgery. Sasha came home to, from the hospital with no medical equipment at all. She was just a fine, healthy, tiny baby. And she got a cold and she had to go into the hospital. It got worse. She could not breathe on her own. And so the doctors had to put a tracheostomy in her. The trach is a little tube in her uh, throat because she could not breathe through her mouth and her nose. I used to carry around little tissues in my pocket and give it to her whenever she needed it. It was a very stressful time, but we got through it. And two and a half years later, we had a, she had a very big surgery where they had to rebuild her airway and take the trach out. They had to reconstruct my airway because I couldn't breathe. And so while they did that, they damaged my vocal cords. But even with all the stressful times, the surgeries, and the long, painful years of recovery, the moment Sasha came into their lives, they knew she belonged there. When people come up to me in elementary school, they're like, hey, is that your sister? And I said, yeah. And they're like, what's wrong with her? Why did she walk funny? And I was like, I looked them, said it, said it to the face, and said, there's nothing wrong with my sister. The first time I saw Sasha, she was a tiny little three-month-old baby. She was about this big. She was a little peanut. We had to fill out paperwork, and we had to go for interviews, and we had to have our family interviewed, and they came and checked our home and did lots of paperwork and lots of waiting. And then one day they called me and said, we have a baby girl that needs a family. So we went to the hospital and we saw Sasha. And two days later, we brought Sasha home. And in that moment, when Laura first met Sasha, she knew. This was my daughter, yes. She's a gift. I always wanted a girl, and she's the girl that God gave me.